Hello everyone and welcome to this new Inventor 2019 video tutorial. So we've previously designed a connecting rod and a crankshaft and a piston. Um, today we will be designing a gadget pin to link our corn rod and piston together. So something to bear in mind is we have been until now using our nominal diameters all the time so in real life that wouldn't work out so that's the reason why we are using parameters because at the end of before we assemble our model we can always edit our parameters slightly to allow for tolerances so I'm going to open up my parameters and create a parameter called pin diameter, so pin DIA and it's going to be 81 mil. Again as I said um, we can always, um, once we have all the parts and we assemble them together we can um, edit, uh, tweak our parameters slightly to allow for these tolerances um, I will also, sorry our pin diameter is not 81 mil, it will be um, 20 mil. I will create another numeric parameter and this one will be length which will be 45 mil. I will now click on done. I will now start a 2D sketch, use our XY plane. I am now going to draw a circle right at the center and add a dimension. I'm going to enter my list parameter which is pin diameter and press enter. So I'm going to finish my sketch and I will now extrude it in both directions and my distance will be again list parameters uh, length. I'll click on OK. So we have a solid pin now. Um, if we want to hollow it we could have we could draw a circle here and extrude it through or we could have um, drawn the cross section and revolve it around however there is a much easier way of doing that. So instead, I'm going to use the shell command. And as you can see now, you can choose what distance you want to shell it. So I'll say 2 mil. So now as you can see, all the inside is hollowed. And we want to remove this face and this face. So I'll click on OK. And I will now chamfer it. So I'll say two mil, probably two mil um, or one point five mil, and I'll chamfer this edge as well, and click on apply. So I'll click on, I'll change the style, so maybe make it still chrome or still polished. So this will be our gadget pin to link our corn rod and piston. I'll probably edit the chamfer again and make it slightly smaller so let's say 0.5 mil that looks more accurate or even 1 mil let's see how it looks 0.5 was fine so this is our gadget pin now ready and as I said 
once it comes to assemble our all of our parts together which I've got here we can always edit go to our parameters and and edit them so this will be it for this tutorial so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one